three million years previously, on the other side of the world, the shifting of continental plates created the Isthmus of Panama. Ocean currents could no longer flow between the Atlantic and Pacific. Warm tropical water was diverted north. At the time, there was no ice at the North Pole. It was cold enough, but the air was too dry for snow to fall. But when warm wet air from the tropics reached the Arctic, clouds started to form. Snow fell and an ice sheet began to grow. None of this would have mattered to humans if the ice had stayed restricted to the North Pole. But it didn't. The Earth's orbit isn't stable. Over thousands of years, tiny wobbles change the amount of sunlight reaching the planet's surface. These wobbles made the northern ice sheets first grow and then melt back again. Since the Ice Age began two and a half million years ago, they have pulsed back and forth over 30 times. Twenty-four thousand years ago, the ice was advancing toward one of its high points, moving south into Europe at up to 60 feet a week. <laughs> 